To find the limit of cosine theta times tan theta over theta as theta approaches zero, we just need to use some basic trigonometry and a limit that is hopefully familiar. So let's start evaluating this limit. We'll begin by rewriting tan theta as sine theta over cosine theta. Why is rewriting tan theta like this so helpful? Well, we immediately see that the cosines would cancel out and then we'll be left with sine theta over theta, which is a limit you hopefully know. So we get here. Again, the cosines canceled out, and then we're just left with sine theta over theta. But the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is known to be one. If you don't know that, there's a link in the description to my lesson proving it. It's important and worth remembering. And that's it. The answer is one. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.